Hello, I am Trupti Kante. As Papuni University, I am to subject. In this video, we are going to see Unit 3. What is HTML? Why to use HTML? Who invented HTML? And how to use HTML in basics? As we know that two people communicate effectively with each other by using some common language. In the same way, computer and internet communicate effectively by using some common language which is understood by both internet and computer. That language is HTML. So, by using H language HTML, many devices communicate with internet. So, what is HTML? By using language HTML, we create web pages. Web pages are pages which we use in websites and this HTML language is globally accepted. That's why HTML is the standard markup language for creating web pages. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Scientists named Dean Berners-Lee in late 1990s specified a new language. That language is HTML and wrote the browser and server software who can understand HTML language. So, the father of HTML is Tim Berners-Lee. HTML describes structure or look of web page by using markup or tag. HTML elements are represented by tags. These tags or HTML elements are the building block of HTML pages. Browser do not display HTML tags or HTML code as a web page, but instead of that, it uses them to render or translate them into a content that is displayed on a web page as a web page. As we knew, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and this hypertext is the process of linking one object to other object so that when one object is clicked, other object can be viewed. And markup language is the language which consists of tags. Tags tells about how to display data on web pages. This is HTML sample when this code is given to any browser. We use browsers daily. Some of the examples of browsers are Internet Explorer, Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and so many. The browser convert them into the web page. How to create HTML web page? To create HTML web page, we need the text editors. Text editors are the software which can understand, edit, save the text. So, open any text editor. Examples are Notepad, Wordpad, Xiaomi. Write HTML code in that and save the file with any file name .html or any file name .htm. We should use .html or .htm extension. When we click on that file, you will see a web page. Basic structure of HTML. For writing code, we use tags in HTML language. Tags are the words which are always in between less than and greater than symbol. And most of them ends with less than backslash tag name greater than symbol. So, in this diagram, uh, our HTML document starts with that tag named HTML and ends with slash HTML. We have two main parts in HTML document that is head tag and body tag. Head tag consists the web page information. It consists of information which display you the information about a web page and body tag consists of information information which is displayed on web page. HTML document start, starts with HTML tag and ends with slash HTML tag. Head starts with head and ends with slash head. Body starts with body tag and ends with slash body. Less than slash body and greater than symbol. So the HTML, as we know that any HTML document starts with HTML tag and ends with the backslash HTML. HTML head. Head tag is tells you information about or data about a web page. It is not the data which is displayed on web page. It is the container for metadata. Metadata is the data about data. It tells you the data about our web page or HTML web page. What is our HTML page? It may be titled 
of our web page. HTML body is the visible part of HTML document, which is always in between body, opening body tag, and closing body tag. The data which is written in between this body tag is displayed on your web page. This is the example of body tag HTML code. When we give this code to Internet Explorer or any browser, it converts them into a web page. Next tag is paragraph tag. For paragraph tag, we use less than p greater than symbol. This tag tells you about paragraph. When we write the text inside the p tag and closing paragraph tag, that will be displayed on the paragraph tag. That will be displayed text on your web page. Sometimes most of us use text directly, but when we use text directly, when we refresh our web page, the text size always gets changed. To avoid that, we should use paragraph tag. Next tag is tags about the text formatting. We have the four basic tags that is bold tag, strong tag, italic tag, and emphasized tag. Bold tag is the tag which defines the text bold text without any extra importance and it ends with the less than backslash b and greater than symbol the text in between this tag is written on web page in the bold format and it don't have any importance like means we cannot use this html with the css higher version of html next tag is strong tag this tag tells you about the text which is displayed on the web page in the bolded format and it have the semantic or meaning importance on the web page we can control the style of the bold text by using css or any other version of our html the concept of bold tag and strong tag are the same the text will be displayed in the bolded format but the difference is between in the importance strong tag is having higher importance and it can be used with the higher version of html or it can be used with css and this is the code and the output of the code html i tag i tag is for the italic text the text written in between this two i opening i tag and closing i tag is displayed in the italic or tilted format on the web page this is the sample code and how this code will be represented as a web page next is the em tag it stands for the emphasized text this is same as that of italic text but it has some meaning or semantic on a web page we can control the italic text over our html web page we can control the style by using css next uh, tags about the heading. Head doesn't tell you about the heading. It is only about the information on the web page. For the headings, we use H1, H2, H3, H4, H5 and H6 tags. The tags from H1 to H6 are used for the headings. In that, H1 tag defines the most important heading, the biggest heading. And H6 defines least important heading, the smallest heading. This is the example and this is the result of that as a web page. Next tag is tag about the links to connect one document to other document. For this connecting one document to other document, we use the anchor tag. Anchor tag is represented by using less than a greater than symbol. This a tag, it links the one document with the other tag. The format for writing the link tag is a space href is equal to in double quotes url the part on which you want to connect this text and the name of the text and closing slash a so whatever you write in between these two tags in between this tag opening a and closing a that will be viewed as a text when we click on that text that will connect to the url so here as we have the example in uh, which is started from the paragraph tag and that less than a space href is equal to in double quotes https colon 
backslash double backslash www.w3schools.com slash html slash double quotes greater than visit html tutorial less than backslash a and greater than symbol here the url name is w3schools.com html website and the name of our link is visit html tutorial so when we uh, open this text in a web browser it gives you some web page which is in the middle when you click on the visit html tutorial our link name it will give you the url it will give you the new site which site name as we have written in w3schools.com slash html in html images are defined with in img tag the img tag is empty it contains attribute only and does not have closing tag the src attribute specifies the url url is the web address or website address of the image so for linking image we use img space src is equal to url and closing bracket in the src in this attribute name src is name of source from which our image is coming so uh, and the alt attribute is used to provide the alternate text alt is not mandatory but we should use src for our images this is an example this is the source code and when you load your web page or open with the browser it gives you directly image as the code for image is directly written so we can also uh, control our image by using height weight and so many attributes for the image tag so here the width is 500 and height is 600 tables tables for the tables we use the table tag for the table heading we use ts tag for the table rows we use tr and for the data in the table row we use the td tag table example here table a starts with table tag then first row is used is written by using tr tag as our first row is table heading by using th not by using td so the table heading first table heading is first name close the table heading less than slash th next Heading in the first row itself is last name, so the tag is th last name slash th. Next column in the first row that is h that is also table heading, so that's why we used th h and slash th. The next on the next row, as it is not the table heading, for the next row we use table row and the for each data in our table. In each column, we use td tag. So td Jill. Then the, on the next column, it's td Smith backslash td. The next column in the second row itself is the 50. And this row is ended. That's why slash table row. And so many. The next tag about the HTML list. HTML list are of two types, an order list and order list. And for representing each list item, we use li tag. For an order list, we use jewel tag. And for order list, we use oil tag. In an order list, our list is represented by using bullet point symbol. We can also control the attributes of order list by using attribute name tag when we use order list type as one our list number will be one two three and this is the default format for the order list when we use capital a in our type attribute our all list item will be named with capital a capital b capital c and so many when we use small a as a type our all list item will be in the small letters started from a when we use capital i our all list name will be in the Roman letter. Roman 1, 2, 3. When we use small i, our all list items will be named with Roman small letter. Small i, small 2, small 3. This is the example of an order list. 
an order list. By default, for an order list, we use bullet points. And for order list, order means we have some names for the list items. We use or it has by default type 1. That is on the order are from 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 7. Next is about the HTML command. For the HTML command, we use the symbol less than exclamation mark, dash dash, current text, dash dash, and greater than symbol. We never end the comment as whatever we write as the comment text that will be used in the code of HTML that will not be get displayed on our web page. Comment we use only for the understanding of our HTML code. Comments are non visible part of code not seen on the web page. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.